All right, so today I'm going to be replacing these old, disgusting push button switches in my kitchen. Um, a lot of people, I don't know why the previous owners kept these in here. I guess some people might like them. If you can see, just like that, they push in and out. These have to go. Um, I'm not an experienced electrician. I warn everybody, but I did my research. I looked it up. As you can see, I already did this one right here. It's super easy, okay? So what you wanna do first is make sure that the electricity in that specific area or some people feel more comfortable doing the entire house, just shut it off before you get started. Safety first, okay? So I got a flashlight going. My daughter's recording, here we go. So I'm just gonna take this first screw out right here. You can hear the TV in the background. I'm just gonna remove this screw. These have been up here for God only knows how long. I think these were popular in the 1920s or 30s. I guess they're nostalgic, but I don't like it. All right, and this bottom screw, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out. I painted over these a couple times. Kind of rough to get out. Come on. All right, there we go. There's the second screw. Where'd it go? All right, we'll get that later. Okay, and then just gonna loosen this up a little bit. All right, and as far as the wiring, I can't explain, I'll try my best to explain to you um, how I did this first one here. So you see it's loosened up, but then if you just wanna come in a little bit closer, we got these two screws off to the side here. So I'm just gonna loosen that up. Get that out of there. I'm getting excited just in screwing these. Don't ask me why I didn't do this sooner. All right, we got those screws out there. All right, so here goes our hooks right there. Um, the old electrical wires, mine are not labeled like the the ground wire, the, uh, the power wire, no nothing. These are a blast from the past. So I'm just gonna loosen that up here. Slip this over the top. Just like that. All right, and then boom, it's out. Look at that shell there. It's gross. Out. All right, and then I'm just gonna put in a, a average switch here. These cost about 68 cents at Home Depot. Um, the single, I'm gonna go ahead and get these connected here. So I'm just gonna take this top wire. I'm keeping them in the space right where they, just how I got it. I pulled them out, I'm keeping it right there because that's what I did with the first side. I'm sorry guys, I can't get technical and tell you why and I don't have a, um, a little tester tool to see if it's the live wire or not. I'm doing everything bare bones, so I'm sorry if I'm not helping out a whole lot, but this is for the average DIYer. And I'm just gonna loosen this up to where it's a little bit bigger. Stretch it out just a little bit. These pliers here, okay, that's good. That might've been too much. All right, and come around this side. So I'm gonna do is just connect this to the top wire here. You know, I'm gonna close this in just a little bit more. There's stuff falling everywhere. Look at how old that wire is. It's oldie but goodie, I guess.
probably should have an electrician come out, but I'm too cheap. I like doing things on my own. Okay, see how that hooks around right there? All right, I'm gonna take a screwdriver and just make that real snug. And I know it's supposed to be a Phillip head, guys. I'm just going ahead and going for what I know. Make it real tight. All right. And then we're going for the bottom one. And this is kind of, they closed this one good, so I'm just going to have to. Just separate that there. My house was made in a, I think it was built in 1901, if I'm not mistaken. So we got some age on these wires right here. So I wanna be very careful. They're very sturdy, but at the same time, I'm, I just wanna watch it so I don't cause any more damage. And I suggest you do the same. Lined up there. All right. This is what gave me a problem last time. You got to make these old wires big enough to where it fits right around these this little screw here. Okay, we got it now. I'm moving a little bit faster than I normally would, so you guys don't have to watch a video forever. I hate that when I'm watching YouTube. People take forever. All right, we got it around. I'm just gonna close it in here. Make it real snug. And I'm gonna ask my daughter to just put the phone on pause for a second while I go turn the power back on in the basement. And I think, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have success here. All right.